Hey, it's Mark Weiss. I've got a story for you. Yeah, it involves some improper billing, but that's not really the, the best part of it. So let's start from the top. A uh, physician whose last name is, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Goyal or Goyal, G-O-Y-A-L. His first name is Amit. He's based in New York somewhere. Uh, the guy apparently uh, gets involved in um, improper billing, uh, billing for cases that, oh my God, were never performed. Have we heard this story before? If that was the only thing, well, maybe I wouldn't be filming this. But he was just sentenced to eight years in federal prison. But that's not the whole story. After he was investigated, after charges were pending, right, for his billing fraud, the guy goes out and takes out a PPP loan, gets the money, $630,000, and blows it on personal expenses. So that combination led to his eight years in federal prison. I believe he's also lost his license. I could be wrong about that. Sorry if I am. Look, I unfortunately see a lot of stupidity, a lot of crazy actions, a lot of, my God, what were they bleeping thinking in my, in my practice, in my business. But sometimes you have to sit back and wonder, what were they smoking? Think about things before you do them. I've seen other people who are completely stable, completely normal, get tricked into situations where their name, their numbers, their identity are being used for billing. Just be very, very careful. Not all of these mistakes happen because of true intentionality. But sometimes you're sentenced to a punishment that is based on intent. Whether you really think you had it or not, the judge did.